my father, we do the AI on the farm. He just calls in most days if I have a few for AI. Um, it works quite well. Uh, it's good that we're trained because at least then if you want to, if you have a cow that you're unsure of, you want to throw a second straw into her, you can. You're not under pressure to get milk and done if you're dependent on someone else to come or everything. And um, we've had good results and we probably stay doing what we're doing. So for heat protection on the farm, we use the uh, stickers and um, just watch the cow that come in for milk and if the stickers are rubbed off or whatever. And if they're rubbed off, obviously they AI them and put on a new sticker and if they're rubbed off again in the morning, we'll, we'll AI them. Uh, last year, I used EBY as the limousine bull. I um, used him because he's recommended as a, an easy calf and bull with uh, a decent gestation then. And um, so we got four calves, three heifers in a bull, uh, two reds and two blacks, all of black and white cows. Happy enough to get two reds, so it was nice to get a bit of colour. Um, didn't have to assist any of the cows, the calves, and no bother get up and lick them, and no bother to get milk fever or anything like that. So in, in regards to the ease of calving and the transitioning of the cow, it worked very well for us. So we used the uh, two Hereford bulls last year, um, Ollie and Marvel. Um, kind of got mostly red and white calves, as you can see, and uh, we're very happy with them. They calve down, the cows calve down with very little problems. Um, most of them calved under due date, maybe one or two days over. And uh, the calves, they weren't huge calves in our bowl, but grew into calves, grew into big calves fairly quick. Um, so to finish up with the breeding, we used uh, Belgian Blue Bull and the Buffo uh, BB4438. Uh, we used him because his gestation was a little bit shorter than the limousine in Hereford. And that was true, he was true to his name because they all came nearly bang on on time. Maybe one or two came actually a day early, which is, which is good. Um, all these were on cows, say, that were older cows we didn't use blue on first calves just because you'd be aware of their difficulty in calving. We had eight blue calves and out of the eight just had to pull one significant pull and um, like it wasn't too bad. Uh, the cow was grand after and everything and, and his back AI and everything so you know I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, you flew on two half jerseys just because to get a bit of shape into them and it seemed to work okay. The calves seem like decent calves, they have shape and everything inside. So uh, in that sense, in terms of a crossbreed, they work well that way too. So for this year, we're using a few different bulls. We're using a, a blue bull. Uh, BB5325, this is what he was recommended on the Dairy Beef Index. And um, we're using two limbs being bulls, uh, EBY and LM5443, Marco, I think is his name. And um, just going on this year's calves, I was very impressed with the limbs being, so I used him again. And then just going to finish up with an Angus bull. Uh, AA 4743 just because they do have a shorter gestation. They are a little bit smaller calves, so at least them cows should transition well into the herd uh, at the end of calving next year.